Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to know how to use what if analysis data tables. I'm going to show you how to create a one variable table and a two variable table. So for this to work, you are going to need a table with your inputs and then a table with your formulas. And these formulas are going to educate Excel as to how these inputs relate to each other. So very simply, revenue here is the unit sold times the price per unit. I've got cost of sales here, which is unit sold multiplied by production cost per unit. Gross profit will be the revenue minus the cost of sales, fixed costs, these three values added together. And then net profit is your gross profit minus your fixed costs. So now I've got my input table and my output table, I can create my first what if analysis data table. Now the first data table we are going to create contains a single variable and that is the selling price. Now we want to find out what our net profit will be with these different selling prices. In the column next to your variables, at the top of that column you type in equals and in this cell you need to tell Excel which formula in your output table you want to perform in your data table. So for us, that's the net profit calculation. Then you press enter. Then what you need to do is you select your variable column plus the calculation column. You go to the data tab on your ribbon. You go to the what if analysis button, and then you go to data table. And what it's gonna ask for is a row input cell and or a column input cell. Now for a one variable data table, you'll only need one of these options. Now for us, we have our variables in a column. So we click into that column input cell box. And then we need to tell Excel which of these cells in the inputs table matches the variable that we've got in our data table. Well, that's this cell here, the price per unit. Then we click on OK, and it performs all of those calculations for you based on the selling price variable. Now you can see that this is working because at the moment my selling price is £99.99, .99 and I'm making a net profit of 181400 and that's what I have here. Now you're probably going to want to apply some formatting here. But apart from that, you're done. Okay, so that's a one variable data table. What if you've got two variables? So what we've got here is a variable in this column, which is the selling price, same as before, but we've also got units sold. So we want to work out net profit based on both of these variables. Now to do this, what you do is you click into the cell at the top left of your data table. And in this cell, you need to say which calculation you want to perform within this table. So equals net profit. That's in your output table. Then you select from that cell in the top left hand corner, across and down the rest of your data table. Go to the data tab on your ribbon. You go to what if analysis data table. And then you have to tell Excel what your row input is and what your column input is. Now our row input relates to units sold. So we need to select a cell in our input table. That's C3, units sold. And column input cell, where well, you already know this, that's the selling price per unit. And that is referred to here, C4. Click on OK. And it does all those calculations for you. And we can check it matches the calculation we've got here. So with units sold of 10,000, so in this column, selling price of £99.99, .99, we get 181400, which matches the calculation down here in the output table. Again, you probably want to perform some formatting. And then you're done. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.